Welcome back to another video in this Sage 50 accounts tutorial. I'm now going to show you how to record purchase invoices. So invoices you receive from your suppliers will need recording on Sage. It's pretty straightforward, just like it was when recording customer invoices. All you need to do is go to this batch invoice. If it's a credit note, then use the batch credit feature. I'll click on batch invoice. The same sort of box appears as it did on the customer module. Find the supplier that the invoice is for. If it doesn't appear, then it's likely that you need to add the supplier by just using the wizard or clicking new. So far supplies, let's say we got an invoice dated on the 14th. The reference is likely to be their invoice number. 7502, so office stationery, that is the default nominal code. If that needs to be changed, you can just change that. It could be 7501 or another nominal code. Details, I'll just put in stationery. And it was £35.50. The T code, the tax code, T1 is at 20%. So this is the net amount, this is the gross. Something I didn't mention in the customer module is you can put the gross amount in. So let's say 42 pounds 60, and then click calculate net or press F9, and it will split the net and gross. So let's do it again, 42 pounds 60, calculate net, and it will split it for you. Calculate the net and the VAT. We then got another invoice from our other supplier, KHBK. That invoice was dated yesterday. Materials purchased, yeah, that's fine. And here I'll put computer chips, and that will be. £450 plus VAT. Click save and those invoices are now showing on these supplier accounts. They now have a balance. If I go to the nominal codes, you'll see that there are some balances appearing on these codes. So on the creditors control account, there's a balance because I have credit suppliers going down 450 in materials purchased 3000 worth of sales so there are balances starting to appear 35 pound 50 in office stationery the reason why these balances are appearing is because i'm putting transactions into sage i'm recording invoices it's showing down the bottom there's been eight transactions on sage so far Going back to the supply list, just double click on a supplier, go to activity and you can see any invoices and payments on that supplier's account. Hopefully I'm not going too fast for you. If I am just rewatch videos, you have a question, put it in the comment section below. You can pause videos. Um, but I'm trying to keep a good pace so it's not boring. Um, but I am aware that you may know nothing about Sage and I've been using it for donkey's years. Um, so I may be a bit complacent in, in how I teach and deliver this information. So if I'm going a bit too fast, I do apologize. But please just rewatch. You can pause videos. Ask me questions. If you want to subscribe to the Sage email support, you can do that on my website, freebookkeepingaccounting.com. In the next video, I will cover the final module in this Sage 50 tutorial, and that is, and that is the bank module. There will be other videos on Sage after this tutorial as there are other aspects of Sage, but for this tutorial series, there's one final module. So I've covered the nominal module, the customer module, the invoices and credits module,
the supplier module, I'm now moving on to the bank module.